Hello Ruffers, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be discussing about Indian Republic Day. On this day, the President of India addresses the nation. It also shows the huge image of the country's rich cultural heritage and military prowess. Every Indian feels proud while seeing the national flag unfurling on Republic Day. Do you know that every year, around 2 lakh people come to watch the parade of 26 January? In order to ensure proper conduct of parade, thousands of soldiers and several other people are actively involved in the process. The formal responsibility to organize the parade lies in the Defense Ministry in which it is assisted by different organizations. January 26, 1930 was earlier celebrated as India's Independence Day or Purna Swaraj Day. It's the day India decided to fight for complete freedom. The first Republic Day was celebrated on January 26, 1950, three years after we got independence. The first Hour Day Parade at Rajput was held in 1955. Rajput became the permanent venue for the Parade of 26 January since 1955. Rajput was known by the name Kingsway at that time. The Constitution the draft constitution was first submitted at the Constituent Assembly on November 4, 1947. After two years and 11 months of modifications, the constitution was finally approved and signed by the members of the Assembly on January 24, 1950. Two days later, the constitution came into effect on January 26, 1950, marking India's first Republic Day. There are two copies of the Indian constitution, one in English and one in Hindi. Both copies of the Constitution of India are handwritten, which were signed by 308 Assembly members on January 24, 1950. The Indian Constitution is the longest one to be written in the world. It has 444 articles divided into 22 parts and 12 schedules. Recently, 118 amendments were added to the Constitution. Dr. Rajendra Prasad was sworn in as the first President of India on January 26, 1950 at 10.24 am. Republic Day is a three-day affair which ends on 29 January with the beating retreat ceremony. The Indian Air Force came into existence as an independent body on Republic Day. Prior to this, the Air Force was a controlled body. On the eve of Republic Day, the country is addressed by the President of India. Awards such as the Kirti Chakra, Padma Awards and the Bharat Ratna are announced on the eve of the Republic Day. These awards are then given out on the Republic Day. During the beating retreat ceremony on the last day of celebrations, Mahatma Gandhi's favourite hymn, Abide With Me, is played. As we know that due to COVID-19 pandemic, the event of Republic Day will be pared down in terms of number of spectators, the size of marching contingents and other side attractions. From around 1.25 lakh last year, the spectator size has been reduced to 25,000. This year, the tickets for the general public have been reduced to 4,500 and keeping in mind social distancing, the size of marching contingents have been reduced from 144 to 96. Every year, the Prime Minister, the President or the ruler of any nation is invited as a guest for the 26th January Parade. The first parade held on 26 January 1950 President of Indonesia Dr. Sukarno was invited as a guest. However, in 1955, when the first parade was held at Rajpath, the Governor General of Pakistan, Malik Gulam Mohammed, was invited. Brazil's President Jair Messias Bolsonaro was the chief guest on 71st Republic Day of India 2020. Every activity performed on 26th January parade is pre organized right from the beginning till the end. Therefore, even the smallest error and delay by the fewest minutes could cost heavily to the organizers. Each army personnel who participates in the event of the parade has to pass through four levels of investigation. Besides this, their arms are thoroughly checked to ensure that their arms are not loaded with live bullets. The most fascinating part of the event is the fly-past. Responsibility for fly-past lies on Western Air Force Command, which involves the participation of around 41 aircrafts. The aircrafts involved in the parade take off from different centers of the Air Force and reach the Rajput at a fixed time. According to information obtained through RTI, the expenditure of about 320 crore rupees was incurred in the parade event held in 2014. In 2001, the expenditure was about 145 crores. In this manner, the expenditure made on 26 January parade has increased by 54.51% from 2001 to 2014. 
With that, we conclude our discussion and also wish you a very happy Republic Day. Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. We'll catch you in the next one.